This meeting is being recorded. Hi, this is Anne with an anagram on making sure that you can see your code working. Uh, several of you have reported already that you are making changes and then are not seeing those changes reflected on your web page. There are, um, are any number of ways that this can happen. Um, the most common actually are user errors and I'll walk you through two of those user errors. It's really easy to get confused in this environment to get used to working and have a, and basically decide exactly how you're gonna do things the same way every time. And one of them involves browser caching, which is a feature that's usually a feature. It's a huge aid to um, web page rendering speed for most users most of the time, but it's not the developer's friend. So uh, I wanna do a quick demo of this and um, I can reliably recreate the problem when it's a user error. I can't reliably recreate it when it is a caching problem. Sometimes it'll happen for me and sometimes it won't. So you may have to take my word on some of this. So um, what I have up here is a super simple web page. Um, the HTML is on the left. I have it connected to a code.0.js file, which um, at the moment logs one line and doesn't do anything else. And if I render this page, um, so I do a run, and in this case, because I have two windows set up, I'm going to use my little hover hand and do a copy. Come over here and just so you know that I'm really, I'm really rendering the page, I think I am, I'm gonna copy that line in there, hit enter, and you'll see that I have a HTML page with um, a header on it, and my background color, um, which I've styled in the HTML, is yellow. That's all fine. Now, if I go to my code.0.js file, and I enable this line, which I know will work, and I make it say, make the background color pink, and I refresh my page, Nothing happens. But that's because, notice if you see this little round dot up here, I haven't saved this file. So Control S or File Save, and the round dot becomes an X, which would allow me to close that window. And then if I come over here and I hit Reload This Page, I get pink. Uh, that's one way is you can simply forget to um, forget to refresh your page. Now, one way that you can avoid that problem is to always do a new run every time you've made any changes. Because one thing that the run button does is it automatically does a save all before it tries to execute. What you will eventually find is that that begins to seem a little bit clumsy and that you're going to want to come over here and do simply refresh this page as opposed to always run a new page. Um, now, one of the things you're going to do um, in most assignments is you're going to take my starter code, which will often be a .0 file, and duplicate it, create a .1, Go out to your index.html and change it to run. Um, and I've just done a, I've just saved that. So I'm now my index.html now points at code1.js. And then you go and um, start making, say, another change. Um, let's change the color of the text. Okay, I've changed the color of the text to be purple, and I'm even gonna save that change. And if I come over here and I hit refresh, nothing happens. If I hit shift refresh, which should bring down all new files and, and avoid caching, you're gonna to have to trust me, I'm holding down the shift key while I hit this button. I still don't see any changes. And that's because instead of when you duplicate this file, you don't open it automatically. Um, the same is true in this environment if you do a save as. Some environments, you, um, if you save as, you switch to the new file. In this environment, you don't. So 
if you have created a copy of a file and you're supposed to be working in the dot one now and you've changed your index.html to look at that then you need to make sure that the changes you're making are in the file that the html wants to be running so i'm going to save that dot zero file so it's the way i intended to leave it i'm going to i'll do it with the menu this time file save that and now if I come over here and I shift refresh, I see that I have purple text. So those are just a couple of the ways you can shoot yourself in the foot um, by not doing a save, by not editing the file that you're supposed to be editing. Um, it's just really easy to make any of those errors. So the first thing you should do if you're not seeing your code working is you should verify that all of those things are correct. However, even with that, Sometimes you're going to see that a change is doesn't happen. So I'm going to I'm going to try to demo this, but my guess is, given how my browser is working right now, um, it's not going to it's not going to help. I'm going to save this file, and I'm going to come over here and just do a quick refresh, and see I'm getting the new color. So unfortunately, I can't demo the cache problem I'm about to tell you about. Um, it seems as if some of you have browsers that are much more aggressive than mine. Um, and I don't know um, what to do about it except for to tell you how to deal with that. So um, I'm changing to change the light blue just so it's easier on our eyes if I do that. And um, I'm going to over here in my browser window, I'm going to open my developer tools by clicking on inspect and um, look at the console and the console says oh i forgot to change the message in code form. so that's somewhat misleading if i do that and i rerun this page okay so i'm getting the blue from the dot one file i'm getting the alert the console logging from the dot one file um, but you may find that this is not working for you because browsers are built to save bandwidth by caching assets. And your JavaScript and your CSS are assets. So what you may find is that, the, um, that you make these changes, you save these changes, you shift refresh, and you're still not necessarily seeing um, the new code. So let me show you how to handle that. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is actually take this Dev Tools window and move it down to the bottom. So I click this, these little, three little dots. This is Chrome, and I'm going to move these, um, this tab, this window full of Dev Tools. I'm going to move to the bottom of my window because that's going to be a little easier to see the thing we need to see next. Now, if I hit Network here, okay, um, and let's bring this guy up. Now let's bring the whole tab up. Okay. Now, if I just hit, um, so a couple of things. I open the tools, they're always in elements. We often look at console. This time we're looking at the network tab. And if I hit simply refresh on this page, what, we'll, what you'll often see here is that you're getting some of these assets from cache. Um, for me today in Chrome, maybe because these assets are small, I'm just never seeing that. Um, however, if I hit shift refresh, um, one of the things you see is that it went out to try and pull down a file called favicon.icon and, um, and didn't find that. And so you really can tell the difference between um, a, a shift refresh and a refresh. Now, I wish I could, I wish I could get it to show you. Let me just try it a couple more times. There we go. Let me open that up a little bit. Now, I can't explain to you why it took me three or four refreshes for the browser to decide that it really had this asset. But one of the things you're seeing is that the index.html here is coming from memory cache. 
And so in that case, it didn't go back up to my Cloud9 machine and get a whole new copy of the file. It, um, I'm sorry, it was the code1.js. It went to a local copy that it already had. And if you've made changes up on your server in this file and the browser isn't getting those changes, then you are not going to see the changes. So now that I have that one time going from memory cache, I'm going to come back up here and see if I can do a change here, which I'm going to save. And I'm just going to come over here and do a shift refresh, uh, not a shift refresh, a regular refresh. Okay. And for some reason, my browser today has decided that it is always going to go back out to the server um, pretty much. Anyway, if you're having the problem where your things are coming from memory cache, there's a thing you can do about it. And that is here on the network tab, you will always find a checkbox for disable cache. Now, this only works when the DevTools window is open. Um, and if you have this clicked, then even if you go up and you just do a quick little refresh, not a shift refresh, you're going to find you're always going to be pulling your files straight from the server. And this is not something you want to have happen when you're a user and you're trying to surf the web. But when you're a developer, you often do want this. The trick with this setting is that it, it, as the hover line says, only works while the DevTools is open. And depending on your screen size, you may find it somewhat inconvenient to be keeping this DevTools window open. So one of your other options here is to switch the DevTools to their own separate window, which keeps them open. And then if I minimize them, they have disappeared from the body of my browsing window. But my disable cache setting, if I take a look at them, is still set. So this is a trick you can play. If you don't have much screen territory, go ahead, open your DevTools, hit disable cache, and then switch it to a separate window. Just leave it up behind your code unless you want to look at the console log and um, it will continue to disable the cache as long as it's open. As soon as you close it, that disable cache isn't applied to your browser window anymore. So it, it won't interfere with um, any regular web activity you have when you don't have this window open. Uh, the setting is almost identical in, um, in Firefox. Um, if I bring, let's see, let me go real quickly to this URL in Firefox. I'm going to go ahead and close that Chrome window. And I go here. Okay, so this is my demo page. If I inspect element here in Firefox, I have Inspector, which is the equivalent of element in Chrome, console, I can see my console logging, and I have memory and network. And you'll see that that same setting is right here in Firefox where I can disable cache. And I can do the same separate window trick here if Firefox is your browser of choice. I hope that helps. Let me know if it doesn't and we can continue to look for other things you can do.